So we're gonna go back to integrations and we're gonna connect it to our Google Ads account. So you click there, you're gonna sign in to your Google Ads account. So it's saying right here, CallRail wants to access to your, your Google account. So you have to allow it if you wanna do this. Okay, so this is where you get to pick which accounts. So I'm just gonna pick the one that we have in here. This is the Google Ads account, okay? So here it is. This is really, really important. I'm gonna show you why in a little bit. You wanna send the calls as conversions. You can either create one conversion for all calls or you can separate them into first time callers or repeat callers. So I don't wanna count every single call as a conversion because if somebody calls three or four times, that's gonna mess up my data in Google Ads and that doesn't count as, as four leads, it's really just one. So I'm gonna click here, I'm gonna activate it. So it's right here and it's all done, it says active. Let's X out of that, let's go back to integrations, you'll see that that's set up. Let's go to the mobile click to call extension now. So I'm gonna sign in again, you have to sign in, do the same thing, allow it. Same thing, select the company. And then you have to pick which number you want to use. There's only one that we haven't used. If you had a bunch of them set up, you would see a whole list, but we only have the Google call extension set up. Activate. And now we are all set up with Google ads, mobile click to call, our snippet is firing. We're all set and ready to go. So here's the cool thing. When you go into Google, it integrates directly with it. When you go into your Google Ads account, when I hit refresh, now you see submit lead form, still good. Mobile click to call is still there, but we're gonna change that number. And then it's segmented it out, first time and repeat. I don't wanna count repeat um, calls as leads. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm removing it. I don't want that action. Now, one thing you're gonna wanna do when you click on first time, and if you edit the settings, it's a first time phone call, so we can change the name. It is a primary action, so we're keeping it, okay? Import from clicks automatically populates because it came from a third party. We're gonna count every, every conversion because it's a first time call. Every time we get a new caller, that counts as a conversion. Click through a conversion window, 90 days. Um, I like to do first click on this, but then again, they are gonna change uh, data driven. To have, everyone's gonna have to do it. And then we're just gonna leave the offline conversions because this is not an offline conversion. And we click done. And then we click back. Now for mobile click to call, we're gonna go back into call rail, go into our tracking, take that number, and then we're gonna go back to, so we're gonna go into our campaign. We're gonna go into our ads, extensions, and we're gonna see our call extension. So we're gonna go in here, click edit, We're gonna change our number. So that's the call tracking number. Remember, this is from CallRail. We're putting that in here. I'll make it look the way that they want it. And we want mobile click to call. We're, you can use it for all because we're gonna use that same number for all the campaigns. Click save. And it's under review. I'm gonna make a separate video in case sometimes these get rejected then there's just a way you have to link up to a different, uh, do a different uh, verification and then it'll go through. But a lot of times these will, these will work. So now it's set up. Let's go back into our conversions. Mobile click to call. Make sure all of our settings are right. So we have mobile click to call as the name. It is a phone call lead. Cancel, you can add a value if you want. I usually don't. Calls from ads, count this as 
um, one conversion. Not every one, because we don't want to count every phone call. Now this one for mobile click to call gives you an option. So you can do a call link. We like to put 60 seconds minimum. So if it's a 60 second call, then that usually means it's a decent sales call. If it's under 60 seconds, I don't want to count that as a conversion because that was not a good lead. Click through a conversion window. I want to set that 60 days. And now for mobile click to call, I want to make this the, uh, the first click because that's if they're on their phone or if they're looking at it on their desktop, that's the first click that they take. So I want to count that as a first click conversion. Save. Done. We'll go back. If we want to do the keyword tracking, we're going to have to go back to our campaign. Okay, so now I'm at the account level. So you can see if I click on my campaigns up here, I, can, I have the option to see campaigns and then settings. Now, if I go to the account settings, this is where you can have call reporting and make sure it's turned on, okay? That has to be turned on in order for this to work. So once that's saved, then we're gonna go to our campaign level And you're gonna click on campaign settings. Here you can hover, or you click on both of them, click edit. And we're gonna to need to add a tracking template parameter to these campaigns to properly track all the keywords associated with these. So when you go in here, you're gonna say change tracking templates. Okay, so in order to find this tracking template, it's not super easy in, in uh, call rail. So I'm going to add it. I'm going to copy and paste it in the notes below. But I'm also going to show you how to find it. So when you go back to your, your, um, your call rail account. So what I did, I went to Google Ads. And right here, there's an article. And then right here, there's a link. And then if you scroll down right here, keywords aren't appearing in call rail, then you click applying the parameter to it. <laughs> so I'll set up a, I'll, I'll get this link too and put it in there too. Here it is. This is the parameter that you want to put in at the uh, campaign level. So copy that, put it right here and hit apply. Now this is going to be applied to all the URLs that you have in each campaign, so you don't have to do it uh, individually. Okay, and it, it can take a little bit of time, so just be patient with it. So we have that, if I hit close, now we can test to make sure that it's being shown on the, the landing pages. So we're gonna go, and we wanna do that by changing the columns here. So you're gonna change your column, modify, and then right here you'll see tracking template. I'll move it up to the front so you can see. Now really you just kind of, you don't have to put the URL in there because it's already, it's already in the ads. So if you just hit test, it'll show you if these are found. And all of mine have been found. Save, and now we're done. So now that it's all found, all the conversions are set up, um, we are ready to rock and roll. So then you can log into your account. When you go up to analytics, so you can see now which, uh, which tracking number you have, the time, the call duration, who it was, first time call, if you have a, a circle, it's a first time call, the keywords associated with it, and then we can optimize accordingly. So now you can track the call extensions and the actual phone calls that are coming from your landing page. So uh, I hope that you found this helpful. If you like this content, please subscribe to this channel and give me a thumbs up. Um, please write me some comments too if you have any questions. I'm happy to help. I really, I really enjoy doing this for some reason. It's uh, it really gets me all jacked up. So um, hope to see you in the next video. I'm gonna have a lot more coming. Take care.